American Top 40. This is Casey Kasem on American Top 40 in Hollywood. And now we're up to the hit that wouldn't be here if everybody at the record company had done his job correctly. It was recorded by Canadian composer Frank Mills and released in Canada on his first album five years ago by Polydor Records. The name of the tune is Music Box Dancer, and it got good airplay as an album track five years ago, but it wasn't released as a single, and the album didn't sell. Okay, fade out and fade in four years later. It's 1978, and Frank Mills returns to Polydor and signs a new contract, and they release his old album. Now, Frank's music is regarded as easy listening, so the LP was sent out only to middle-of-the-road music stations. And a month later, Polydor followed up with a single from the album, one side of which was Music Box Dancer. But that was the B-side. The A-side was really an easy listening song, and the promotion department was supposed to send it only to the stations that play that kind of music. But somebody goofed. And one copy went to rock station CFRA in Ottawa, the Canadian capital. Well, the music director listened to the A-side, was certain the label had made a mistake in sending it, then listened to the B-side, liked it, and started playing it. Instant hit in Ottawa. And several weeks later, all over Canada. That was about six months ago. And because of the hit single, the album hit gold in Canada. All because somebody mailed a record to the wrong radio station. For Frank Mills, it couldn't have been more right. It's his first top 40 hit. The biggest mover this week, jumping from number 40 to number 30. Here's Music Box Dancer. Frank Mills and the biggest moving record in the countdown this week. Moving from number 40 to number 30, that's Music Box Dancer.